Okay guys, this is tutorial number three. This is the last tutorial, so I'm going to talk faster, really, really quick. So you guys can see how I pretty much went in depth with the black all over the yellow areas. That shit is sick. <laughs> Mark 1 just said that. And basically, I have to use black because I don't have um, a yellow inking pen like this. So let me go as quick as possible because this is going to be the last video. And plus, I have a few more things to say. So let me say these few more things, and then after that, I'll start explaining exactly what I mean. I mean, what I what I'm doing with when it comes to this inking mess. All right, guys. Um, for anyone new watching these videos, you guys might be a little bit out of it because you don't know what's going on in these videos. But basically, the characters that you see, every character that you see, beginning with this one has been chosen by you the viewers and subscribers and what I mean by that is this is how you do it um, if you're a subscriber if you're a subscriber okay what you what you're able to do with my videos is you're able to say okay um, I really want to see this guy do an astronaut okay one person can say that and then someone else can say oh I really want to see him do a robot and someone else can say, oh, I really want to see him do a rooster. Okay, guys. Basically, what you can do, if you're subscribed, you have the ability to go down to my comments and say, where's Shun? And then yell out what you want to see in the next tutorial. Alright? Basically, in the last tutorial, I mean, in the, yeah, in the last tutorial, um, I said the same exact thing. And this is basically what you see now. So pretty much everyone who got what they wanted has pretty much everything in front of them right now. Um, Amazer wanted the weed character, and that's why his tail is weed. Um, someone else wanted a monkey, and then after that someone else wanted a dragon, and that's why this character is a dragon. Oh, and someone even wanted a cyclops, so I was actually able to fit four things in one. So... Um, dragon, cyclops, weed character, and monkey. Okay, guys? I, like I said, I do this mess for you guys. You know what I mean? So, basically, do that again. Next tutorial will be dictated by the first three people who comment, who are subscribed. If you're not subscribed, your opinion doesn't matter. If you, don't, if you do not say, where's Shun, your opinion does not matter. So, basically, say, where's Shun, and be subscribed, and your opinion matters. And just because you're not one of the first three people, don't be discouraged. If I can work anything else into the drawing, and I usually can, I'll add what you want. So, even if you're the fifth, sixth, tenth person, by that time it's just dictated by whoever has the best idea after that. Like this, I was able to work in a Cyclops. You know what I mean, guys? So, basically, I was able to work in four things. So, go down to the comments right now even if you want and basically say what you want alright guys so I really don't want to repeat myself too much because I know I have a tendency to do that and I know it definitely annoys people so just go down there follow the rules be subscribed say where shun tell me what you want and don't tell me and one thing I did have a problem with the last time was people trying to tell me everything that they wanted Okay, I, I'm not going to mix an entire thing for you. You know what I mean? I mix what everyone wants together. Some people are like Gorilla and Koala. No, this is not a custom sticker for you. No offense, no disrespect, of course, to anyone out there who made that mistake. But you got one thing. Say one thing and one thing only. Even Mark was like, what the heck? Didn't they listen? <laughs> so basically, guys, um, do it right. Alright guys, now for the actual tutorial part. What I'm basically doing is going in depth with this inking stuff. And you have to catch every single curve, like I said in my first tutorial, and darken it. And if you're fortunate enough to have a gel pen that's white, go to the opposite area and whiten that area. And you will have a character that looks like he walks right out of a right out of Nickelodeon or Cartoon Network. You know what I mean? It'll be that good. You know, just don't make crappy characters like that show Chowder, you know. 
Alright guys, so basically catch all the curves like I'm doing. And a lot of you guys I can see have learned. So, what do you call it? I'm going to talk about a little something else. But just basically keep looking at the drawing and then it's still the tutorial. But I am going to narrate something else for a second because I have been getting a crap load of private messages about how do you think of these characters you know what I mean um, even if we don't tell you about them um, basically honestly I'm gonna tell you guys a little secret to be completely honest I don't have inspiration like a lot of other people have you know I, I have favorite graffiti artists and favorite comic book artists like everyone else who's in um, who's in art. My favorite graffiti artist is Rhyme from AWR, Saber, Atlas, you know what I mean guys? I'm almost done inking this entire thing. And if I don't get to the weed tail, I'm sorry, but but this character has a lot of creases in him. But yeah, um, basically here are some tips for you to personally take. Um, how about this? Look at a commercial and look at the characters that you see on the commercial. Look at the Wendy's characters. Look at the McDonald's characters. See if you can draw them. You know, and a big one that might help you guys is Pokemon. You know, I don't look at Pokemon because I don't need the inspiration. Not to be cocky, but I honestly really just don't. But um, you guys can look at that and just get the ideas because the guy who drew Pokemon and made that show is one of the most successful artists and one of the most legendary artists he's a Japanese guy obviously and you know he's just absolutely amazing you know what I mean so think outside the box guys that's the biggest thing you don't want to be like these fine artists out here who who just draw flower pots and stupid stuff like that you know something that you can just take a picture of you know what I mean or something that you can actually hold and already touch you know what I mean guys so I'm pretty much done with this but um, if I can talk to you guys a little more I will so let me ask my friend Mark exactly how much time we have how much time do we have Mark two minutes, two minutes? all right so basically guys I have two minutes to basically tell you guys how to keep on thinking of these characters look at anything you know don't look at my characters I'm sorry but every one of my characters are copywritten and that's no bull I'm gonna show you guys my copyright um, what do you call it my copyright folder um, next week or the next two weeks basically the characters done I hope you guys had as much fun as I did doing this oh I gotta number it um, this is character 27. Everyone who knows that I'd be doing these characters knows that I number them. This character is number 27. One of my favorite characters. Just like my last week's character. Um, for anyone who hasn't seen my first tutorial ever, that was number 26 right there. He was a lot of fun to do. And basically, this is number 27. I number every one of my characters. Don't bite. You know, I, I'm not kidding you, me and my company, we do sue people, you know what I mean? Check up Jarrett Camp, he's the boss of my company. So, um, guys, I think we're going to have to cut it here, and sorry if these tutorials were just all over the place, I really had to finish this. Mark 1 is tired as heck, he needs to go blaze up. <laughs> so, um, guys, <laughs> thanks a lot. Um, Lades, peace out. Um, shout outs to everyone once again, Sovereign 1. Where's Shun? Alright guys, follow the rules and you guys will definitely get what you want. Alright? So, late, see ya, peace out, bye.